All right, welcome back to Gun Buddy Customs, and we have yet another episode. They're just gonna keep coming. So tonight, they the the they were leaked. The photos were leaked for uh, tomorrow's reveal, and they showed the snow serpent, right? Which was one of my favorites growing up. I'm sure it was a lot of people's favorites, and like many of my favorite figures, it came with a shit ton of accessories, and I love that. I love that it came with that little mortar style missile launcher it, it came with the 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 parachute it came with the big uh backpack it came with snowshoes and it came with a really dope um ak right awesome figure uh, uh one of my faves and i did make a a custom of him um early on in uh in, in 2020 and i ended up i ended up selling him to uh to an awesome collector, uh, the the Cobra collector, and I sent he was he's an awesome guy. So um, glad it went to a good home. But um, today, because of that, we are going to talk about a vehicle for our snow serpent. So it seems like we're beginning a lot of Arctic shit coming down the line, right? You got uh, you got Big Ben, you got um, even though he's night force, he's still you know what I mean. He's still all covered up in fur coats. Um, the deluxe snow job you would get in the deluxe snow serpent so lots of lots of snow coming in right lots of snow flurries so i found a vehicle that will work and it is not this vehicle I'm, I'm i have this vehicle here because it's representative of the company that makes the other vehicle and that company is new ray and they make atvs and they make snowmobiles and and razors and, and other and other vehicles like that so the first custom vehicle i ever did was this one and i took their ATV and I made a, a little a little ferret out of it, right? Real simple. It, these things are, are are nice and articulated. The the suspension and stuff like that's you know pretty detailed. It's it's an awesome little vehicle. Um, they're affordable. They're around twenty dollars. Um, but like I said, this is not what I'm talking about. So let me show you what I'm talking about without any further ado. And I'm gonna show it in the box and out of the box because of course, like always. I bought a couple of them um, while they're on sale at Amazon. So the same company makes this snowmobile, and I'm sure other people have seen it, right? It's not like um, I, I discovered this snowmobile or whatever, but I came across it one night and I bought one to see if it would if it would scale well, and it does. And so then I went back and and I, and I bought a, a a couple more. It is 112 scale, and sometimes with these like this one, it's a little bit small this is on the smaller side and you'll, and you'll see uh here in a minute when i what i'm talking about for whatever reason this is on the smaller side and, and they're they're i have bought a couple other their atvs and it's the same thing it looks like if we put a, a classified um, figure on there kind of looks like it's uh you know like on a, on a on a little kid's atv so let me show you what this looks like out of the box and what a figure on it so for tonight's purpose we've got Arctic uh, Arctic Mission Storm Shadow, right? The the Amazon exclusive, the right. And look at him; he fits perfectly on there. He scales really well. And to put a Joe next to him, I have my custom uh, frostbite, and so that way you can see what it looks like by both of them. So same thing with this one; it's easy to to take apart. It's just it's just a few screws and everything just kind of you know just kind of comes apart because oh, don't fall, buddy. Because, like I said, there is some level of, of, of articulation to it. And you can see the, 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 the awesome detail. You can see the awesome detail in the in the uh, uh, tank tread, the, the tread back there. The exhaust, the, the, the oh shit bar, all of it, right? Really nice uh, handlebars, you know, very, very detailed and very scale, right? So it looks awesome. Looks great. Now imagine... A fire team of four of these, right, headed towards you with with some snow serpents on there. I think that would be an awesome fucking scene. I would obviously repaint it and make it more, you know, cobra like. But um, this is another vehicle that that you know, you know, helps fill the void of the of the of the uh, the no vehicles for the GI Joe classified or no small vehicles, I should say. You know, what I mean, we we're still waiting on the hiss, and, and we got the uh, the, the dragonfly. Um, still going the dragonfly campaign still going i mean it's locked in there we're gonna get it but we got to see if we're gonna get past glinda and, and get on to whatever that final tier is and i didn't really notice it but if, if you look at the um uh when i was doing my my the video where i gave my opinion of it when i was going through getting the the the, the thumbnails 
for the uh, for the video, I realized that basically they're giving the same tiers that they gave with the Sky Striker, right? The first one was Night uh, Force Ripcord. For the Sky Striker, it was um, the Pilot Scarlet in the blue uh, Ace outfit. We get Glinda, who's the the blue um, Scarlet. That's that's a that's a helicopter pilot. So if we follow this pattern, we might see, um, you know, the the uh, somewhat of a of a grounds crew or, or some kind of, um, you know, you know, kind of army builder, troop builder, uh, mechanic, or you know, weapons loader or something like that. That'd be uh, that'd be very cool. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick one on this one just to kind of highlight the uh, snow serpent. And let me give you my opinion on this the snow serpent while it's fresh in my mind and those then those things just drop. I I don't care for a lot of the accessories. And and it's not because I mean I, I like bazooka's bazooka when it was on bazooka, you know what I mean? Uh you know, I get it they got they got to reuse what they got a few times, you know what I mean, for for cost measures. So that part I I guess uh, I'm okay with. But the part that I'm not okay with and, and for whatever reason this is driving driving me crazy. So they gave friggin um Sergeant Slaughter, this same AK when you got him, except you know, obviously he had the brown handle. This is for the Python Patrol Cobra Officer, right? So they have this AK available, which is which is virtually the exact AK that the Snow Serpent came with. Why are they giving him like an M16, M4 looking thing? And they did the same thing with the Valkyries. Instead of giving them, you know, AKs and those, those, uh, those those laser rifles they gave them like M16 M4 looking um, weapons, right? And then you look at like uh, the the Night Force uh, ripcord. You look at the the what is it the Steel the Steel Brigade two pack to come back that they're coming out with, and they have the same weapons off of the Vipers, right? They have those 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 Viper weapons. For whatever reason, and I don't know why that discontinuity just drives me crazy. Why would you give Sergeant Slaughter an AK? Right, the AK, which is the, the the symbol of 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 communist power, and you know during during the Cold War, right, the AK, Chinese version, Soviet version, didn't didn't matter, right? And you give it to the most patriotic Joe. I, I did I didn't understand that. And now you have the perfect weapon to give to the um, the so the snow serpents, and you give them that funky little M4 looking thing that that were shown with the with the the the, the Valkyrie um, digital re reveal and render. I don't know how I feel about that. I, to me, I, I don't I don't know why. Like, I, I, I like uniformity and I like continuity, and that's that's just one of the things that kind of like bugs me and drives me crazy. And I know there's probably some formula of how many times they got to use each weapon in order for it to pay for itself or turn a profit or or, or whatever. But at least kind of match them up, you know what I'm saying? I mean, at least keep the the AKs with the bad guys and the M4s and M16 looking weapons with the good guys. I don't know. That's my two cents. Whatever you can pick them up or you can leave them on the fucking table. Who cares? That's just what I felt. <clears throat> Since we're getting all of this Arctic shit, um, I, I had been sitting on these for a while. Like I said, I'm sure other people have have seen them, have purchased them. You know what I mean? I'm not the originator of using new Ray toys, but I'm just kind of showing you what I'm going to use and what I'm going to um, stack a few more of these. So then that way I can, you know, display that fire team of um, so, uh, snow serpents on these, uh, on these um, snowmobiles. And I'm thinking that um, somewhere in here, I'm going to, I'm going to put some kind of weaponry kind of French in some kind of, of, of uh of barrels to to show some kind of some some kind of weapon in there something like that i don't know we shall see if i could find a bigger version i wouldn't mind making a a, a polar bear out of it because the polar bear was almost like a like a two-seater you know what i mean when, when if you remember the cartoon before they went down those ice loose and stuff like that when they're when they were getting there on the on the on the polar bear it was it was basically a a two seater. So if I can find one that's that's a slightly larger scale, like a one ten scale, I might try to do it with that. All right. Well, that's it for tonight or for this episode, and uh, we'll see you next time. You know, hopefully I'll be able to come up with more vehicles and more ideas and more ideas for for you know cheap and easy customs for you. 
All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.